Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk to you today about um, how um, about the African American soldiers at D Day, um, particularly the well, actually, there were 2,000 um, African Americans that landed at D Day. Um, the combat unit that landed was the 320th ba uh, Balloon Barrage Battalion. It may be Barrage Balloon Battalion. If I got the two crossed up there, I apologize in advance. Um, but what they did was they set up explosive ridden balloons so the the Luftwaffe, the German Air Force or the Nazi German Air Force, would have trouble strafing the beaches um, with their airplanes so the soldiers would um, not have to deal with enemy uh, air power. They would not have to deal with the enemy trying to strafe them from the, both the air and the ground. And D-Day, by and large, the Americans are the... I should say the Allies. The Allies were in control of the air, and that was largely thanks to the 320th um, um, Barrage Battalion. And the they did excellent jobs. They're not largely well-known, but thanks to Linda Hervo, who's a journalist, she wrote a book about them. So their contributions are becoming more and more known, and they need to be known. They fought um, against Nazi fascism in Europe, and they also had to fight against racism back at home. Because African Americans in World War II were not treated with the respect and dignity, by and large, like they deserved. Um, it changed over the years, and the U.S. military integrated in 1948, largely due um, to the efforts of people like the Tuskegee Airmen, also the African Americans at D-Day, um, and their uh, contributions and their loyalty. So, hope everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless them. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.